Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ice Man. We're back again with some more American Horror Story content. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I don't know. I like talking about stuff that I like talking about. You know what I'm saying? If y'all fool with that, then subscribe to the channel. Stop being like that and just hit the subscribe button, all right? We don't just talk about anime. We're This, this channel is for everything nerdcore and nerdcore accessor. It, 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 anything that can have something to do with some some nerdy shit. All right, we we, we nerds, blurred, however, whatever you want to say it. Anyway, this video is about Fiona Good, also known as the Supreme, and American Horror Story: The Coven Season. Now y'all know the last video I put out was about Zoe Benson, how I felt like she should have been a Supreme, but in this video we're gonna talk about the actual Supreme, Fiona. So first let's talk about what the Supreme is. The Supreme is the strongest witch meant to lead the descendants of Salem, which witch colonies, for that generation. A Supreme must have radiant health and must be able to complete the seven wonders, which is trials, basically, of different things that a Supreme should be able to do. After one Supreme dies, another one rises to power. So, there's an academy that they all belong to, Miss Robichaux, or however you want to call it. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't remember the exact name, even though I just watched the season over again. For like the, the third time <laughs> the academy and fiona's rise to power was kind of crazy to me because fiona slit the throat of the previous supreme during a heated argument that was witnessed by the house butler insert name here i don't remember what his name was even though i again just watched this just just rewatched the season um but yeah he, he swore secrecy and even cut out his own tongue i found out his tongue was enchanted by myrtle snow who knew the truth and knew fiona was a fraud to begin with but after she beat the accusations, Fiona was crowned. Now, when we see Fiona, she's not really the picture of health that she should be. So she literally provokes the voodoo queen and starts a war based off her vanity issues. Right? Fiona wanted to gain the immortality that Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen, had acquired. So in desperation, she ignored the rules of the truce forged by the last supreme, ending the war with the witches and the voodoo people, and into Marie's shop, into Marie's territory, which is something they wasn't supposed to do. And after their conversation, Marie dissolved the truce because she learned from Fiona that, you know, Fiona's a, a bitch. <laughs> Literally, face to face, Fiona's a bitch. So she didn't care no more. And really, the icing on the cake was she found out that Fiona had revived her worst enemy which was an old, evil, racist old lady, Madame Delphine Lallery, of the house Lallery. Uh, I'm guessing it was French, but she, um, which was actually a kind of side story, well, backstory side story that was going on. Lallery, Miss Evil Bitch, had a an addict that she tortured slaves in, and she even had like baby slave blood that she would use to. to try to be because her vanity was an issue too and she wanted youth and marie basically ended up her lover ends up getting killed by madame lottery and marie ends up enchanting her using voodoo causing her to be immortal and put her in a box in the ground forever and fiona kind of ruined that by digging the bitch up so after a while a lot of happens in the season i don't want to spoil the whole season for you in case you get curious about this video you've never seen it you want to go and watch it i'm not gonna spoil the whole season for you so just know they end up they end up calling it calling a truce later on her after after the witch hunters failed to kill a few of the witches marie was the one that employed the witch hunter hank who was married to the supreme who was married to fiona's daughter which was uh cordelia and hank failed in killing any of the witches he was supposed to kill so naturally marie has a she pitched a bit and Hank decided to go and kill all of them instead. So after this happened, she um she ends up teaming up with Fiona. You know, to take out the witch hunter. Fiona was a terrible supreme and did very little for the coven during her reign. But after attacks from her late son in law, which again was Hank, her and Marie called the truce together. And, you know, with the help of the X-Men, they took out the upper echelon of the Order, which was the rich hunters that were, you know, going after them. And they, they took them all out. You know, no problem. You know, other than the fact that they had to enclose all of them in a room and, and kill them all. Fiona's problem with vanity 
was like the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway about her and her time as being Supreme because she was getting old and she could feel her powers fade as the next generation Supreme was getting stronger. She tried everything to regain her youth and beauty but failed. She even killed Madison Montgomery thinking that she was going to be the next Supreme. And she killed her because she felt like the vitality would go back into her. It did not work. And she foolishly thought this would help. And it didn't. She was so desperate. She tried selling her soul to Papa Legba. And Papa Legba was kind of disappointed because when he revealed to her that she had no soul, he couldn't strike a deal. He loves a good bargain. Absolutely loves it. In the end, she ended up, oh, by the way, I failed to mention, she had cancer. So, she ended up succumbing to her cancer in the end, and Cordelia rose to power as the next Supreme. Cordelia gets her own video, though. We're not going to talk too much about my baby, my baby mama, Cordelia. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm trying to structure out my scripts a little better so y'all can follow my videos, little, you know, so it don't just seem like I'm aimlessly talking. I'm actually... Trying to get together, piece together what I want to talk about instead of just going off the dome with it. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. And if you do, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I said I wake up in the morning and turn my trap on. And if you think it